is it before and after. Here's before. This is like turn of the century. What are these people doing? Same basic outfit. <laughs> so he built this tower called a parapet. Let's go up these stairs. Looks like they carved them into the rock. What's weird about this castle like wall it's different styles of construction. See how this is been. It's like the mortar is different. Patched it. And then this apparently was a door. Why else would you have an arch like that? These look. Huh. It's hard to say. And then over here, I guess, I don't know if he added this part, maybe. It's just modern cement, concrete. Looks about a hundred years old. I mean, it doesn't make sense that he would build a stone half circle and then modern cement. <laughs> yeah. Really weird. Really nice view. Strategic vantage point. So this is where he had uh, pedestals like statues. this little brick fireplace. So it just came from down there. See how the wall, these big stone blocks, just boulders, and then these are like cut, hewn. Sandstone blocks. So here's his residence. Look, we actually have a kind of a construction photo, but it's 
wall and it is all complete except the terracing. So they just did that. And this is where his residence. From modest beginnings, Adolf Sutro purchased a small cottage on the site in 1881. Uh, I have an initial purchase of 1.65 acres of land on Sutro Heights. He remodeled the cottage into his ornate yet somewhat modest residence by glassing in the porch and adding a rear terrace overlooking Ocean Beach. After Sutro's death, the health home fell into disrepair and eventually demolished in 1939. So this area is all open to the public, and then the gate, the residence. Is this a construction for them? Try to see what's going on. And then there's the tower. There it is in his entrance area. Look like that's conservatory. The site is the location of Sutro's glass conservatory built to shelter exotic plants, local coastal fog, and harsh winds. Flowers from around the world thrived inside the greenhouse, along with infant shrubs and mosses used to create the elaborate designs of the carpet beds. So this guy was like basically pulled into a billionaire this time. Some weird statues. Fountain with the fish, serpent. This guy's garden carpet beds. A staff of ten gardeners. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. <clears throat> Just. Mostly in, look at this, the elaborate plantings at Sutra Heist were mostly in place by 1885 when the grounds opened to the public. I mean, this kind of garden takes years to design and develop. <laughs> There's the original well site. Sutro Heights. Out of Sutro, the populist mayor, San Francisco. He was apparently well liked by the people. He uh, provided them with entertainment, uh, <clears throat> you know, bread and circuses. Sutro Bass it was um, cheap entrance fee, and he built a rail line along the coast. And I forget what he charged, but it was pretty cheap fare so he could get people to come out here from downtown. And it worked because it helped develop the area. So all of his real estate investments uh, went up in value. Uh, 
Uh, it's pretty strange how his story, he just comes out on the scene in 1850, out of nowhere, huh, from Germany. <laughs> German engineer.